Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing today? We have a new exciting product for you. At least I'm kind of excited to try it out. So we have here the Bissell Spin Wave Hard Floor Expert Robotic Vacuum and Mopping System, model 3115. Let me show you real quick. This is the Bissell Spin Wave. This is one you, you know, handheld, you plug it into your wall. And this thing cleans really, really good for mopping. So what they did was they took this technology and they put it into a robot vacuum. And this thing also vacuums. So I'm really curious to see how well this guy's gonna work. This thing works awesome. So if they engineered this correctly and made that technology as they show in the picture for this robot, it's, it's gonna clean really good. I've done so many robot vacuums, they're mopping test, and they're all terrible. I say that in all my videos. I have not found a good mopping robot yet. So, that's why I went with this guy. It's $400. It is on Amazon. I will put a link down in the description. If you like this and don't mind, please click that link. I make a few dollars off each sale. And that'll help me buy the newest and best vacuums for this channel. So let's go ahead and cut into this. This is just going to be the unboxing. And then I'll do a video of me setting it up, setting up the app, and of course, doing a cleanup test. This, and we'll see how good this guy is. All right, we're wagging our tails. Thanks for your purchase. The, this is going to be a pretty complicated robot. I don't know for sure if it can vacuum and mop at the same time, but we will find out. This is by far the biggest box I've unboxed for a robot vacuum. There's a lot to this guy, a whole lot. So here's the manual, which I'm sure I will need later. So this is the plate that it attaches to the dock so that when it's done and it parks, it's going to sit on here and it'll allow it to dry rather than sitting on your hardwood floor and possibly ruining it. All right, I'm glad it comes with some uh, cleaning solution. I will definitely be using that for this product. A little bit of protection. Some paperwork that I don't feel like reading. Some more protection, which is good. Always use protection. Got the power plug. We have, whoop. We have the base, which as you saw, connects onto there, just like that. And then it'll, it'll sit on here and keep your floors dry. Power cord. Oh wow, that's a whole thing. That's a whole freaking setup. So here's here's the whole point of this robot, are these cleaning pads. So these are gonna spin just like the floor cleaner I showed you earlier. And it's always gonna have contact with the floor. So when I do all those tests with like the little thin layer of vanilla pudding, this is constantly gonna be pushing down and spinning which to me is really the only way it's gonna be able to get it up rather than just running it over like every other robot vacuum that has a mopping ability. That's impressive, that's a beefy design. I am really excited to try this out. I think it's gonna do the best ever for any robot vacuum that I've tested. I mean, look at that, that is beefy. <laughs> this is where you put in the liquid. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try this. If these things spin quickly, it's it's gonna do a really good job cleaning. I'm, I'm, this is the most excited I've been for a, a mopping portion of a robot. It does come with two extra pads, which is awesome of them to give you. And let's check out the robot itself after we look at these little accessories. So 
comes with two extra spin brushes on the side, which these are the most brushes I've seen on any robot vacuum. So we'll see if having more bristles is better than only having three like iRobot uses or Shark, which only uses one. Those are extra, so I don't need those now. Here's an extra filter, which is always nice to get. Don't need that right now. And then this is for hair getting stuck in the brush roll. This slices it, and then you can pull it out really easily. Let me move all this aside, and I'll show you the vac vacuum. All right, here is the robot vacuum. I do like white for some reason. It just has a nice look to it. Um, plenty of protective film. For people who like peeling this off, this is a, a home run. Protected bumpers for shipping. There we have it, that's the top of it. Good looking robot. Very basic though, it's literally just the on and off button. Just kind of odd, I've never actually seen one with only an on and off button. Not a big deal if it works well. Let's check out the bottom of it. So the vacuuming part, if if this didn't have this, this would just be a you know an everyday robot vacuum. It looks very similar to 90% of the robot vacuums. A lot more bristles, so we'll test out and see if the bristles make a big difference. Rather, like I said, three or one like Shark or iRobot. This might flick around debris too much if there's a ton of it, which I will put this through a stress test. These wheels have really good thick tread on them, so this thing may not slip around at all. Obviously, it's a mopping robot, but the biggest complaint I had when I tested on my brother's iRobot BravaJet M6, was the, the tread they put on the tires, there was no actual like tread like this is. Let me show you. This looks like an actual tire on a, on a, on a truck or something. Hopefully you can see that. The iRobots was smooth. And when I did the same exact vanilla pudding test on that guy, it literally was just slipping on the pudding. It, it took a lot longer for it to clean. Eventually it did get traction back and worked, but it was struggling big time. So I don't think this is gonna have any issue whatsoever with that. So yeah, I'm super excited to try this out. I think it's gonna be the, if they, if they engineer this right, this is gonna be the best mopping robot on the market. It's gonna be really good. But however, I will say one thing I just noticed and I don't really like about it is it looks like you can't, and if I'm wrong, I'll correct it later, but I don't think you can vacuum and mop at the same time. Because here is the dirt bin for when you vacuum. See, good size bin. Uh, <laughs> hey, Beavis, uh, what are you doing? There we go. You just pull it apart. So a good size bin, it's gonna hold a lot of debris. However, when you want to mop, you have to take this bin out and you have to put in this guy. And then there's a sensor that's going to tell it to basically, you know, mop. All right, well, I read up a little bit on the manual and I'm actually a little bit more happier. So this isn't going to be like a full-blown robot vacuum while it mops. Like if you have a big mess, you don't want this to go out and clean up the big mess while mopping. It just isn't set up for that. But if you send this out and have it vacuum first and then you swap attachments and there's still a little bit of debris left, this does have a very tiny compartment here, just this little ridge to hold any dry debris that it flicks up in here. And then you just pop this off and then you empty it. So it does have a very small section, which is good, better than nothing. And then the rest of this is for the mopping solution and all that good stuff. Um, as you can see, it's got two pretty beefy motors in there to spin these. And I, I, like I said before, I think this is going to be amazing at mopping. I hope, I hope I'm not wrong. And then of course we'll do a full test 
and see if the vacuuming portion of this mopping robot is any good. Because if the mopping is amazing and the vacuuming is not, you know, is it worth getting still? It'd be, it'd be great if both of these do a really good job. And this has a nice setup. It's going to come down to the ability for this to clean. The navigation on the other Bissell that I bought was just not very good. It missed some spots. And the edge, edge test of that vacuum, which did not have side brushes, did a very poor job. So I'm curious to see how well this guy's going to vacuum. Let's see if we can turn it on. Oh, you see that ring light? I like that. Ooh, they trying to copy off iRobot S9 for that? Clean up your own plastic. I love that light. That's a nice touch. All right, guys, well, that is the unboxing for this guy. Let me know down in the comments, please, what you want to see with this guy. Uh, I do want to do lots of tests with this. This this is the most excited I've been for any robot vacuum with a mopping ability. As I've said, every robot vacuum that has a mopping attachment sucks. So I really want to be able to say after I test this, this thing's amazing. If you want a good mopping robot, go get this. In all honesty, I think this is going to blow away the Brava Jets. It's going to blow away everything if this, is, if this is engineered right. So please, please, please do me a favor. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. There's going to be lots of tests with this guy. I'm going to do a small area test, the same as I've done with all the other robots, and see if this guy will clean it, whereas the other ones have not been able to. And then I'll probably try a much bigger floor plan in my kitchen and stuff. That way you can see how well this guy actually does clean. So looking forward to testing this out for you. Once again, it's $3.99 on Amazon. I'll add a link down in the description. And uh, you all have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.